Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome along to uh, another episode of Cloud Punk. Uh, we've got 18 out of our 20 punch cards, and we've currently got Huxley in tow. Um, we're looking for a missing girl, um, and we've been sent to this uh, Alexa theatre um, where Alexa appears to be broken. I tried, I tried to get her to like play music and work on my shopping list and stuff. Uh, so we're here meeting uh, Quicksilver. Um, so let's see what he's got to say. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called... The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley! So, this was the client. I had pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit. But instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking... Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. That's, Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably <laughs> fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. It's the memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares right. about the girl. So they're going to smash her head does. open. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Rio. Wait, the corpse sec agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means he won't know we talked. Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. So now we need to track the signal that was tracking us. To stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Yep. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need They're me. They're probably again, attached Huxley. to dogs. I'll see you around. Okay. Right. So what, am I just done? That's it. Mission complete. All right. That's really weird. Huh. Um, so all we've got to do now is find some more punch cards. I'm guessing that when I get back in the car I'll get another uh, nav point. Another mission objective. Is there any items over there? No, there's nothing over there. Don't need to get that. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Lots of people around here. Hello, Stephen. You got any nice clothes or anything? What are you looking? Under neck glasses. Nice. Oh, I keep doing that. Uh, no, don't want any of that. Come back any time, lady. You were, yeah, I will, Stephen. Thank you. Actually, that looks more like Stephen. <laughs> Tall and slim. Here's control. Kid, I need you to know this next job. It's not personal, okay? It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just about well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Our reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Fell on a rain uh, shear. Toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Um, we're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not definitely, but probably. Right. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So, I'm a taxi now? Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? <laughs> uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. Right. You know, CEOs, Doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth, 
Hmm. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. It's you a lucrative job. three people in your hover. Three? I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find. But make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. <laughs> and then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. Okay. So at least one rich asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, that sounds good. just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Blend it. Use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Right, so we're right. going for the, the richest the people we can find. I'm not sure what I can actually spend my money on anymore. Like I've got all my hover upgrades and stuff. My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. Oh, poor control. Sounds like he needs a break. Holiday. Maybe we can uh, get him a position at the top of the spire or something the end of the game. I do like him. He's one of those guys that wants to do the right thing but also is like it's too dangerous to do the right thing. I need to stay out of it. There's lots of uh, oh here we go that's a potential punch card over there so let's let's go check that out quickly while we're on our way. Parking over there. Where did I see the card? It's on the other bit, so let's go over to the other parking area. Round here. Literally, it is a punch card. Fantastic. That means we've only got one more to get for this chapter of uh, helping out whatever she's called, Evelyn, who I've called Nebula. Because she sounds like uh, Karen Gillan in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Item as well while we're here. Some more broken augments. I don't really like all these items. I'm seeing very little use for them at the moment. I'm just picking them all up. Uh, but I don't have anything to do with them. Do I just sell them to get more money? But then what's my money for? I feel like I'm not... Oh, stop pressing the wrong button. I feel like I'm not like making any use of money. I've got three grand, which I think is a fair amount. I don't know. Uh, so from what Control said there, it sounds like we're gonna have to do a lot of uh, talky talks on this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's uh, assuming we can uh, drive at all. <sighs> okay. Uh, is there... Oh, so there's one out here and two in there. They're just items. They're not uh, punch cards, sadly. So we'll go and have a look. Hello, security guard. I'll talk to you in a minute. Audio content you want to hear. Well, I, so are you replacing Alexa then? Interesting. Um, hey, do, do, does anyone smell bacon? This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. I know you got a contract to pick up some folk, but you got to be quick. If you're not back soon, you're going to get stuck on the other side. I okay. Understand. Talk to all the survivors. All the survivors. Every one of them. Hi, how are you? I am good. Thank you. My server. Peachy? 
Are you? I am 18 hours old. Wow. And I have to say, I've only spoken. Almost all. I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So you're fresh out of the box. Okay, so Mr. Sharp's coming with us. My default functions have not yet. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef. Sounds like you were going to be a. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then right. they were rolling, then twitching. I guess they now were poisoned gas. by the gas leak. And you were the only... Yes. They didn't instantiate my base programming. I just love to be helpful. What will you do if you can get out of here? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But yeah, you've already fair been enough. activated. If they wipe you, won't... I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner. And my market value, if I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore. Not since the law. We're only considered emancipated after we've been born. And we you have a name? No. That is my service. Ah. Name. Can I give you? No. Only my first legal employer. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. I have only done 12 different things so far. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. <laughs> okay. Uh... Who are you? I can't talk to you. Talk to all the survivors, it says. Look, all these people are survivors. They're, they're walking around breathing. Hi, Quincy Sharp. Hi, I'm Rania. I'm sorry, I don't have any business. Um, me neither. But you can still talk. I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic... They have my office number, so I never forget where I... And they say your name. Oh, right. Quincy... CEO. Wow. Again, I'd have to check my... You don't know which corp you work for? We just went through a <laughs> rebranding. I really could... You know, I've wow. always wondered. What does CEO stand for? Chief Executive Officer. No one remembers. We just use it for the upper level man. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking. Being right. Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. I always see money as a kind of energy force. And I believe my father also left me a small trust fund. Uh-huh. Is anyone worried about... My father, for sure. Although we... Oh, God. I should go. Right. So, he's got money. And he doesn't sound like a bad person, actually. Like... He definitely seems um, like he's naive and he, he's rich and he's obviously got through life because of that. But he doesn't seem to be actually negative. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kai. My name is Rania. 312 years. Yeah, good one. Hey, what are you. Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know. Yes, yeah, that's true. Do you have any true. friends or family looking for you? I got the old boys waiting for me at the oil guzzler. I was originally programmed to. The rat wars? Were you? Rats. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting well, rats. First, Amazing. They grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis. I'm sure they do. Stunning down corridors in swarms. Hundreds of them. Millions. Big as horses. It wasn't really a war if you were fighting rats. It's... If you'd been there, you would have called it... And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran. Barely a penny to... Oh, right, okay, so... I mean, he's... He's got, like, some value. Another magazine. N magazine. Hello, Dr. Oka. Hello, not miss. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, <laughs> yes, sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Are you a... I'm just stuck here like... They say it was a toxic... Some of my patients have been having trouble with their... I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much... Are you sick? Yeah. I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here and the stress. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. Mm, no. What caused the toxic? I don't know. The whole explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit. And that spirit gets a little angrier every year. Yeah. You don't believe that, right? You're no. I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill. 
But bad answers are worse than no answers. Okay. What will you do when you get out? Drink some vodka. Phone my ex-husband <laughs> and tell him I still hate him. But he can stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. Do you... Right. Will you be able to afford the rescue insurance? No way. I've only been out of medical... It doesn't matter, though. No one's coming anyway. Yeah, I get... Right, so she's a, a good person to save, but... Uh, not necessarily... Gonna give us Hi, some money. I'm just chatting with everyone. Why are you asking so many questions? I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know, the lab has accidents all the time. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. And no. Definitely. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I told the corpse at officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. Sure, I'll just go get you some help. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk to Mrs. Octavius Butler. Hi, I remember you. Oh, thank Cora, you're here. It's I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. I was hoping you could help me once again. That's me. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Of course you are. It must be very distressing. I need you to get a message to Mr. Octavius. Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious matter. You must remember a message. Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. Do you need to write this down, dear? Y yes. I think I can remember it. I do. I, I need to write it down. There is toxic gas. Um, sure it's I'm nowhere near there Gallows Row. Please avoid the sneaky. area. Is that that's right, isn't but it? Don't worry. Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to... Mr. Butler, dear. Get going, quickly now. Well, that solves that problem. Hello, it is Camus. Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to... What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. Yeah, there I can. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose, I think. <laughs> you don't know. I do. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's there. So we're taking shot. What do you want? Whatever it is, I've got to meditate and... Gross. Look, I have a vehicle and that's just great. Natural disasters like these are great. Great. Okay, you just get me at the gate in a few minutes. You just ruined it. You just ruined it, mate. Honestly, it was going so well. Um, don't want to take her. The robot is pretty cool, but to be honest, he's like he's a robot. If he gets wiped and sold as new, then so what? The sergeant was. A decent guy, I think. I don't know. Um, the doctor was pretty decent. Should we take the doctor? She can't pay. And Mrs. Butler's like happy for us to send a message, so that's fine. So I'm going to take. Do, hang on. Doc Ock. She, she's Doc Ock. Yeah, we'll take her. Dr. Ochoa, I actually have a. Really? I only have a few. Sp I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security check. Two minutes. They, so I think they're going sooner than that. Uh, right, so do we take the horrible professor, um, the sergeant, or the droid? I mean, the horrible professor will give us more money. The droid doesn't really matter, and... To be honest, he's kind of done anyway. That let's take the horrible professor. Professor? Really? What? What? No. I have a vehicle, and why didn't you? Before everyone realizes that although this wasn't my fault, some might. Whatever. I'll see you. At okay. No, I'm kind of changing my mind now. Deliver your passengers first. Interesting bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for including me. $50 bonus. If you could hurry this up, I have to sign off on some union leader. I'm regretting my choices now. Again. Like 
before he started talking to us properly. When you get back to safety, 350. Just remember, you didn't see me. And I acted completely innocently, just like someone who didn't know anything about the accident. Definitely what you're doing now, mate. Oh, my life. Th these things have got worse. Like, these people have got worse since I picked them up. <laughs> they didn't seem that bad initially. I mean, obviously, the scientist had something to do with the accident, but he didn't seem like aggressively or actively trying to uh, to cause harm whereas now he's like being really sketchy can we just deliver them to this dude we are getting a call it is Huxley again what hello Huxley put him through I had her I finally had her now all I needed was a way out. Oh, timing, Huxley. Did you find Pashta? The game was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. What kind is it? Come get you. Send me an app. Tagliatelli. I hope she would Ravioli. Get soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. Okay. I'm confused. Have I dropped off the passengers now? Are they gone I guess I have <laughs> right um, so yeah we'll just follow the main road till we get where we're going I'm guessing boosting does it use more fuel or something Otherwise, I don't know what, like, the Oosh. the trade-off is for it. Uh, 100 and... There we go. Right. Park vehicle. Sweet. Uh, we have arrived. Oh, I really wish that camera would uh, not do that. So, there's Huxley and Pashta, so we'll pick them up in the next episode thank you very much for watching people uh it's been a pleasure as always if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like and uh if you're not already do subscribe um check out the links below for all my uh social medias and uh, i will see you guys next time